Social Security is a very successful program. If every single program in the federal government operated like Social Security, we'd be here today in surplus. Because Social Security has a funding mechanism. It's an insurance program. It works. Let me restate that. It works. It is not in deficit. It is in surplus. So any conversation about Social Security adding to the deficit is an out and out lie. I don't know how else to say it. Maybe it's politically incorrect. Social Security is in surplus. And it, as was stated before, will continue to be for many years now. We want to make it stronger. Of course we do. Out to 75 years, 100 years, by the way, easy to do it. And we're happy to engage in that conversation. But it is not adding to the deficit, and therefore it should not be cut. Now, I'm old enough to remember my dad and my mom telling me what it was like in the Depression era, okay, when people jumped out of the window because they had no way to live. So let's think about this. This is a life-saving program, not to mention a program that brings dignity to our fellow Americans. It's keeping more than 1.6 million Californians out of poverty, including 1.1 million seniors out of poverty, just in California. And here's another thing. Two out of three seniors rely on Social Security for half or more of their income. This is a life-saving program that is in surplus, has not added a penny to the deficit, and instead of our Republican friends looking at it as a way to solve the deficit problems, they should embrace it and say, how can we make programs in the federal government that we believe in uh, pay for themselves like Social Security? They're after Social Security? Let's be clear. They're using this deficit as a way to say, we told you we got to get rid of Social Security. We got to privatize it. I'm a former stockbroker. I worked on Wall Street. It's a gamble. It's an absolute gamble. The stock market recently lost 50% of its value. Imagine if senior citizens had invested in the stock market instead of investing in U.S. bonds, which is what Social Security does. So without Social Security, half of women over age 65 would be living in poverty, okay? Without Social Security, half of women over age 65 would be living in poverty. And I don't want to go back to those days that my parents told me about, where old people were living on the streets, okay? And the fact is, what Senator Sanders is doing and what we're supporting is saying this. We will stand up for an idea, for an insurance program that is working, that is giving our people dignity, is giving them the ability to take care of themselves. And we will do everything we can to tear apart this, this myth that Social Security is in trouble somehow when it is one of the strongest programs in America today.